If you don't aim your strip them, you can have a catastrophic strip them failure. Yo, what is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and today I'm going to teach you how to strip them. I've got my favorite ever booster box of cards to open here, the One Piece Romance Dawn Set 1. I have never had so much fun opening a box of cards, and I just love to strip them. And I'm almost positive that there's an alternate art and an alternate art leader in this box, and I'm going to teach you guys how to strip them today. If you enjoy these strip them, you want to learn more about the strip strip them, power of that B of the power of strip them, go ahead and smush that subscription button. It really strip them me out. Let's get into these shrippums. All right, so this is the booster box here. Now, shrippum isn't just a, you know, it's it's not just a word, it's a lifestyle. And to understand the lifestyle, you have to understand the anatomy of the pack. So, every pack has a shrippum nub. Well, not every pack, but every well-designed pack is a shrippum nub and a shrippum landing point. You see that little that little point that comes out there? That's the shrippum landing point. So, we're going to bless them this pack as the shrippum the bless them. And now when you strip them, the important thing is that, you know, you can either do it this way or you can do it this way. I always turn the pack over. I feel more control with my right hand, but you want to grab it right at the other side of the nub and aim your strip them down to the opposite nub. If you don't aim your strip them, you can have a catastrophic strip them failure where you just have a tiny bit rip off like that. That would be a catastrophic strip them failure. But don't worry, you can still crack them the pack. So even if you have a bad strip them, you can still get the pack open and pull something nice right out of the back. All right, so remember, you want to go for that strip them nub and you want to aim for the bottom strip them nub and you just strip them right down. Because it's not that you're just tearing the pack, but you're ripping it, you're pulling it. And the way that you do it together, it really the only way to describe it is strip them. Because if you say it, strip them as you do it, you can feel how right that feels when Michael Bapo blasts out of the blast scene, Michael Bapo blasting off. If you don't really commit a lot of times, your strip them won't come out successfully. You'll end up with some little mediocre strip them. So you really want to start learning how to strip it and rip it. You can't just pull down on it. You really got to strip it. Oh, there it is. Alt art crocodile. So this is it. This is the alt art box. And we knew it because we were shrippaming. And this is, Croc has been trolling me really badly. I was hoping it would be Zoro. But another Croco boy. What is your secret, Croco boy? You have some deep, dark, dangerous secret, Croco boy. I feel like this leader is going to get a lot better. As some more good purple event cards come out, this leader could get quite excellent. But he's a shiny Croco boy, and that's how you strip him out of the pack. Now that we pulled Croco boy, we know that there's going to be an alt art in here somewhere. So we are going to strip him straight to that alt Altar. You got to commit on the technique, you know, really find find that bottom nub and strip them right to it. Okiku. Okiku is a fantastic card. Works really good with law, actually. You can play her off law, but you also just got to strip them and believe in it. Believe in the power of stripping because if you don't, you won't strip them properly. You want to make sure you set yourself up for a successful strip them by aiming for the bottom strip them nub. Oh, here's the Luffy Dawn pack. Luffy Dawn. Sometimes also you'll get caught on the top of the cards, but it's okay if you get caught here. You can just strip them around down to the strip them nub. But yeah, making sure that your strip them technique, sometimes you can even crack the top of the pack like that to get it started to make your strip them a little bit easier. There's nothing wrong with doing a little pre strip them crack to crack that pack open so you can strip them on down the way. And it, once you get your technique right, you can really make it a fl fluid sequence. But sometimes you will get st stuck on the top of those cards. It happens. Really, the best technique in the strip them is once you don't even think about it anymore. And it's just second nature strip them. And that's when the alt arts really come out of the packs. Or the SRs. That's a nice looking SR. It's also something shiny back there. But yeah, we should be closing in on this alt art. There should be one more alt art. Nami alt art would be fantastic. I would be very, very happy about a Nami alt art coming out of one of these packs. I would have no problem with that whatsoever. Nami would be fantastic. Nami or Hancock also. But yeah, these sometimes it's easier to get that little pre strip them started. You know, start it off with that little snap at the top because then it makes ripping it just a lot easier. And you can go straight down for that strip them nub. Nami Swan, thank you so much. I would like to strip them you out of this pack, please, and thank you. 
kid. Kid though. Those are actually really good SRs to pull. Kid and Luffy are both great SRs. There's gonna be one more SR and an alt art. Hopefully Nami right in this pack. Uta! There's a 33.3% chance that when we strip him this pack, an alt art is going to come out. There's also a 33.3% chance that an SR is going to come out of this pack when we strip him. Looks like an SR to me. Boa Hankook Swan. All right, that's it. That means this is 50-50. This is a 50-50 chance this is an alt art. And the only way we can know is if we strip him. Oh, bad technique. Really got bumped up there on the top of the card. But you got to finish strong and pull that alt art right out of the back of the... Nope, it's Momo. Okay, so now we know. Now we know 100% sure that there is an alternate art in this pack. There is a guaranteed alternate art inside of this pack. I'm going to write on a piece of paper and not cut any of this so you guys know that this is it. This is this is alt art. This is alt art in this pack. In this pack. Alt. Alt. Shrip him. Here we go. Shrip him the pack. Alt art in this pack to shrip him. And one of these cards. It's not this one. And it's not this one. It's not going to be this one, and it's not going to be this one, but it's most definitely going to be this. What the heck? Oh, it's in the Blossom. I got got by the Blossom. I blessed the alt art. All right, so now we know guaranteed that the alt art is in this pack because this is the Blossom. We blessed the Blossom, and we opened all the other packs, and this is the last pack, so there has to be an alternate art in this pack. Double bless him, triple bless him. How about an alternate art Nami or a boa? But Nami would be really nice. But the alternate art is not this one, nor is it this one. And it's not this one. And it's not going to be this one. And it's not this, but it most definitely is Nami Swan, right? Oh, Kido! I'll take that. Couldn't couldn't summon Nami, but kid, I will gladly summon this because this card is not errated. Apparently, I was the one that started that rumor. Sorry, everybody. I saw a misprint of a post. You guys have probably all seen it now where it said Dawn X2, but that was a misprint of a test sheet. So it's actually not that way. It's written the same way. When this guy's in rest mode, Dawn X1, you cannot swing at anything else other than him. Unless there's another kid character card in rest mode, then you could swing at that. But other than this, you have to swing at this dude if he's in rest mode. And this card is crazy. But yeah, that's it. That's how you pull alt arts. That's how you shrip them. I hope you guys enjoyed this shrip them. I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be don't forget to brush your teeth x2 times a day because if you brush your teeth twice a day you're getting the food particles off your teeth in the morning and at night and giving bacteria less of a chance to digest that creating acid and making cavities in your teeth so get that stuff off your teeth brush twice a day thank you so much oh i forgot to open the cat viper dang it all right let's get this cat viper open Come on, cat vapor. There you are. Thanks, buddy. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. And if you're playing this kid in your deck and you're playing the kid leader, you probably want to play this kid leader. I don't know if you've seen this one, but it's pretty sick. Uh, if you're a pirate and you look in the right places, you can find the kind of treasure that you need. That's what they say, I guess. Thank you so much.